This is your writer, Anthony L. Kelly, right here. Check it out. These are my books. Mac, Jaja, book, Sunshine. And this is my first book published, Saving Miss Carolina. And this is my latest, El Manic. Uh, go check this book out, man. This is a nod at hip hop on its 50th anniversary. This is uh, a nod to one of the illest MCs to ever do it, Nasir Jones. And this is me shedding the light on uh, mental illness. Uh, I'll leave all the, the links in the description box. Salute to everybody who's ever supported me, man. Y'all go support your boy, Anthony L. Kelly. Check the next Rapper time. Juvenile Son was shot the other day. Now, the crazy part about this is that I forget the year, a few years ago, right? Maybe a handful of years ago. His daughter, his daughter was also killed. Now, his four year old daughter at the time was gunned down um allegedly by her mother and at the time you know um that's the that was the story allegedly but his daughter did pass away as a triple murder a triple murder at that point in time well his son his son who goes by the name of young juvie actually was shot as well and the great thing about the situation is he actually lived to talk about it and put a post up about it now he provided an update about his health. Now the news broke a couple of nights ago. I forgot to actually cover the story on Hip Hop News Uncensored. You know, but nevertheless it did happen and um he put a blog up and said I'm Gucci. You know, um he said I'm not about to play with the universe. Like I'ma just appreciate the bless and keep stepping. He addressed this on Instagram. He seemed to be in good spirits as well after that shooting. Um and yeah, it's not much 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 about you know, um, too much more details about what's happened, you know, but it looks like his, he has a little patch on his face. So I'm not sure if he was actually, um, I mean, two and two together. He was shot, you know, in the head and, you know, the face. So, man, that, that that's that's crazy. That's a crazy situation. You know, you lost one daughter. You know, now your son, I mean, he he almost gets killed. Thank God. Thank God he survived because, you know, you get shot in the leg and die. You can get shot anywhere and die. They get shot in the face the head and the face and still be alive you know to talk about it a few days later dude is blessed i'm happy that he's alive again i'm not sure of you know too much of more of the um information about this particular you know more details about the case have not surfaced and i'm sure he's not going to talk about it but i'm happy to report that he is alive and well and able to go ahead and um you know let us know what's going on, man. Violence is at an all-time high. You know, with the summer kicking off and everything, um, people going to be outside. You know, tensions are high. And it's like a never-ending cycle. And if I, w if I were to provide any solutions, let's say a place like Philadelphia, where most of my family, you know, is at. I, get a, I hear a lot of stories about kids walking to school being shot. You know, kids, you know, going to practice and being shot and... You know, my mom was taking my niece home the other day, and it was just a shooting right there the other day. So one thing I always kind of propose, and I, I don't have all the answers, and, and I'm sure Philadelphia does have this to a certain extent. It was maybe like a 24-hour community center, and and I got a lot of solutions. You know, some type of outreach program, man, that, you know, meets, meets these kids at their needs. Like, whatever, if you wanted to be a carpenter, if you wanted, whatever you want to be, you know, a plumber. You know, uh, um, entrepreneur, uh, artist, it should be an outlet for you to be able to hone and develop your skills. You know, it just should be. I remember when I was growing up, they had like a vocational school. If you could be a plumber, you could be a carpenter, you could be an auto mechanic, all these different things. I think everything needs to be made accessible, you know, um, and get rid of some of the stupid stuff in school. I'm not going to say stupid, but some of the unnecessary things in school, you know, that that kids really don't need is not going to help them. How about let's give them some stuff that's really going to, you know, benefit them and help them. And at a young age, begin to, you know, um, see, OK, this is what this person. OK, you like this. All right, let's do this. You might change your mind, but we got this in place for you. So once again, man, that's just a couple of the solutions that I got. I know it's not the end all be all, you know, but it has to start with the youth, you know, and it has to start with the uh, the elders and the youngsters in the community standing up and, you know, saying enough with this nonsense my mom was telling me when she grew up you know in philly you know when it was about to be a shooting he said people you know the dudes i don't know if it was the dudes that shooting but somebody would come back and say look go in the house we about to be shooting now 
pe- bullets is coming through people's windows. Old ladies is getting hit. Babies is getting hit through the window because dudes is just shooting all crazy. You know? So that is what it is, man. Um, I'm glad. You know, it does, definitely hurts my heart to see all the violence going on in the inner cities. But, hey, you know, it's going to take some time, obviously, to reverse this. It's your brother. Welcome to Hip Hop News. Let's head to the website. It's hiphopun.com. That's hiphop.un.com for more hip hop news. Peace.